Well, old concert tickets are usually worth more to your memory than they are to your wallet, but today, more than a dozen fans of The Who defied those odds, cashing in their tickets from a show that was canceled in 1979 for new ones to see the band perform in February. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is outside the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Well, the Who actually won't be coming here to play the Dunkin' Donuts Center until February 2013, but for those that have been waiting since 1979, what's a few more months? The Who was talking about Kathy Hedler's generation. So this is a big one. This is 33 years later. Hedler waited in line three days in 1979 to get tickets to see the Who in concert in Providence. She was just 18 years old, but the ticket she holds from that day was never used. She felt like she was in a teenage wasteland. Can't even explain how I cried forever. It felt like forever. Probably cried for a week over it. It was pretty disappointing. But this particular show, I had second row seats too and I was, I was pretty upset at, at the mayor. Then Mayor Buddy Cianci canceled the Who concert because of safety concerns after 11 people died in a stampede before a show in Ohio. At least 14 people held on to their Providence tickets. Now, 33 years later, Stephen Ball. The dunk is asking, who are they? Those 14 redeemed the $11.50 tickets for seats to their world tour at the Dunkin' Donuts Center next February. At least one avid Who fan showed up with his scrapbook. <laughs> tickets still inside. Yeah, definitely with the history, it's, um, it's just a really fun story, I think. And I think it's great that the Dunkin' Donuts Center is doing this. I never even thought that this day would come. Uh, and finally it paid off. <laughs> <laughs> the old tickets will be auctioned off with the money raised going to Special Olympics. So that Who concert will be going on February 26, 2013. And for those 14 people who've been waiting since 79 to see the show, it's rumored the mayor that canceled it is going to be there in attendance. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.